morning. It is Monday the 6th of May 2019. Thank you for joining us today. In the news, Ministry of Public Works receives equipment for water measurements. Work is being done to relieve residents' areas from excessive water. 11 students get practical experience near shore and President Bouters have visited Crayola. As part of the Global Climate Change Project, the Ministry of Public Works received equipment for water measurements from the UNDP. It's a donation worth 300,000 US dollars. Public Works Minister Patrick Pengel indicated that this gesture will make it easier to collect data on water resources, among other things, as a result of heavy rainfall. With the data, residents can receive an early warning of a possible flood. In addition, with this development, we can also check for places that consist of good water springs for the society. The meteorological department also plays an important role in this. With the heavy rains of the past days, it is obvious that the rainy season started. Minister Patrick Pengel says that the Ministry of Public Works Transport and Communication is doing everything right now to relieve the city center of excessive water. The ministry is also working on taking measures to get rid of excessive water in the various residential areas. Sluices, sewages, and canals are regularly maintained. That some neighborhoods are submerged for a longer period has to do with housing developers who have not properly managed their drainages, says Minister Pengel. From June to December, 11 students from the Suriname Maritime Institute, SMI, will get practical experience on ships from Metserve. They are the logistics contractor of the Stats Oli Nearshore Drilling Project. Stats Oli started exploration drilling in the Nearshore area last month. The state oil company stated in a press release that with this collaboration, the urgent need for boating experience for second and also third year students of the SMI is met. Stats Oli is responsible for the medical examinations required for working at sea, travel insurance, and the required safety training for the students. MedServe provides ship accommodation and practical guidance by the captain during their stay on the ships. Suriname Logistics Education is responsible for other insurance policies pedagogical and didactic guidance of the students. The agreement for this cooperation was signed on the 2nd of May 2019 by Stats Only Managing Director Rudolf Elias, MedServe's CEO Carl Bartolo and the Chairman of the Suriname Logistics Education, Michel Amafo. And yesterday afternoon, President Desiree Bautersha visited the resort Crayola in the district of Saramaka. The head of state thought it is necessary to take an extended note of the many problems in the area. The local community called on solutions for the prevailing flooding in this area. The need for having a playground for the children as well as a sports field was also pointed out. During a well-attended meeting in the community hall, the public had the opportunity to ask questions related to the further development of Crayola. After the meeting, the president and his delegation took a field trip to personally orientate the matters that occur and that can be addressed in short or long term. That is all we have for the local news for today. Have a wonderful day further. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.